Boy, oh boy, Phil Spencer has to just open that mouth of his. So, Phil Spencer says that he thinks Microsoft puts out the most top quality games. Yeah, Phil. You ain't got anything like this on your platform. You got, you got nothing like this. You know, this Ratchet Clank game? Uh, this kind of makes the Xbox look like garbage. Like, for real. I, I don't see anything on this caliber right now. Now, am I saying that there could be games down the road that are on this caliber? Yes. But far as right now goes, mm -mm. a Philly, Philly boy, you, you ain't got nothing like this. You don't even got anything like Miles Morales, you know, which was pretty much a DLC, glorified DLC. But it still looked really good for what it was. You know, you don't got anything like Demon's Souls Remake. You know, while I'm not the biggest fan of Demon's Souls Remake, I can appreciate the fact that it is visually really good. So, Phil, maybe not open your mouth so much, because sometimes you make an ass out of yourself. I mean, if you think these games, the games you put out are top quality, great, fine. But that's also coming from a place of bias. Because you're, you're a big executive. You get to see these games, you know, go through the development process. We don't. We, we just see what you guys put out there for us to see. And I'm sorry. I don't think Xbox has put out a top quality game in quite a while. And that... That's not, that's not me trying to be a Sony fanboy here. It's looking from Xbox's, you know, catalog the last, let's just say, three years. Objectively speaking, there has not been a single Xbox game that's even on the caliber of The Last of Us Part Two, for example. You know, I don't think there's games on Xbox right now that are really that visually appealing. I mean, I know they had, like, that one game, what is it, the Second Extinction? I mean, that looks okay, but it's like, that's still an early access game, and I've even heard people say, like, the people who have played it, they're like, eh, it's kind of got problems. And I saw that score game, I'm like, oh my god, that, that is the literal definition of style over substance. So, yeah. And also, of course, he had to criticize Sony's strategy for approaching playing games on PC, because... Sony wants you to kind of double dip on the games. Um, Phil, that's how you keep your brand relevant. That's how you keep the console relevant while at the same time giving people what they want. Yes, it's years away from, you know, you know, putting the games on there day and date. But, you know, that's a good thing. Because then people who want to buy the game have to buy the console. But, you know, I get, you know, pro fucking consumer, you know, devalue everything you own, devalue your entire brand. I guess that's, you know, the best way to go, but, you know, Phil Spencer, sometimes the furthest man just, he speaks without thinking. So until next time, guys, have a good day. This is That PlayStation Gamer, signing out. Have a good night.